Hey guys, today I'm going to react to the egg in the dream SMP. Now, time to watch this. December 6th, 2020. A large obsidian wall surrounds the entirety of Lamanberg. Just two days have passed since Tubbo had exiled Tommy from the nation. A day caught in the middle of peace and war. But what was a day in the heart of one story would be the beginning of another. As deep in the shadows, a new threat to the server had just started to grow. Whoa, is that how found the egg? Now fast forward 10 years ago, the egg was found by somebody else. I was in the industry and the team met some people and the lights went out and everybody was about to Dad get stood in awe at what lied in front of him. He'd never seen anything like it before. A deep red encased the entirety of the strange object. Hey Whatever Daddy, it was, it made him that? feel different. He thought about destroying the weird-looking plant, but immediately got a rush of fear at the thought of doing so. Confused and scared of his new discovery, Bad fled the room hoping to find someone else to show the mysterious object. As he returned to his and Skeppy's mansion, he found his friend and fellow member of the Badlands, Sam, who was beginning work on a prison nearby with Dream. Quickly, Bad explained the situation and led the two to the strange red egg. Do you I see don't... that thing in the corner? See, look, what look, look, they're actually... I have no idea, but I do not like it. It just looks evil. I mean, it's like dark I red. I know. And... But there's something about it. It's just like... It must be like pretty, yeah. though. It is pretty. Like, I was getting ready to mine like a chunk, and then, oh my goodness, again, that, that vibe coming off of it. Do you think it is? I don't know. Can you break it? No! Don't break it! I don't want it broken. I like it. Who would like it? Doesn't have like a very, very dark vibe though. Like, does it kind of look like an egg to you, Dream? It's kind of weird. I don't, I don't want <laughs> kind of to. What's wrong, Dream? Too scared? No, I found it, <laughs> and it's mine now. You know what? Sorry. Actually, when I originally found it, this was not here. These little tendril thingies. Expanded. Well, of course, yeah. because it's Can't growing. Be. I know all about the egg. I what? the What's first time I saw the egg it? was a nether story. To happen in the game. I mean, like, I've never seen this mm. thing before. Yeah, get out. If you don't like it, well, I want you looking well, at you it. Might as well leave. Yeah, yeah um, I guess we'll we'll leave you to it. As the three left the room and made their way down Prime Path, Sam noticed something growing on the side of the socializing club. <gasps> A oh deep no! Red vine the, gripped the side. The, of the vine's grow. Bad jumped with joy at the sight of the vine, while Sam and Dream questioned how it got there in the first place. At Bad's request, they decided to leave the vine alone and continued down the path. As they reached Bad's mansion, another red vine sprouted from the pond outside. This was not a coincidence. Just no, minutes ago, not. the group stood in that very spot, and no vines covered the wall. But suddenly. Out of absolutely nowhere, they appeared, and Bad would not let anyone close to them. Having had enough of the new discovery and Bad's strange behavior, Dream and Sam decided to continue work on the prison. But Bad couldn't seem to shake his new friend. Slowly, the vines crept across the path outside the mansion and oh onto the other goodness, walls. New growth was discovered Fast. on Tommy's tower and throughout the rest of the day, Bad brought more and more people to see the mysterious egg. Most felt very uneasy in its presence, some even suggesting they tear it down. But others were drawn to it, unable to avert their gaze from its majestic red figure. Over the following days, new vines appeared and spread across the server. Nowhere was safe from the reach of the egg. Uh -oh. Bad and Antfrost, seeking to please the egg, planted seeds all around the server, hoping to spread its influence as quickly as possible. Before long, Bad and Ant had gotten Captain Puffy on their side, and together, the three vowed to protect the egg and continue to plant new vines around the SMP. However, nearly everyone else grew to dislike the red vines, which continued to spread like vines. weeds across everyone's land. And on December hey Daddy, 9th, is there a red vine and Sam had enough of the egg's relentless spread and decided to attack it. 
After yeah, making their way down the prime path, past the overgrowth of red vines, Sam and Sapnap entered the egg room. This time, the vines covered nearly a third of the room, and standing at the center of it all was Bat, who seemed to be talking to the egg. Sam and Sapnap made their way closer, stating that the egg had done enough and it was time for it to be destroyed. But Bat could never let that happen. Before long, Sapnap drew his sword and began to attack, driving Bat away from the egg just long enough for Sapnap to ignite TNT and... Oh, that was a big explosion. Sapnap had managed to crack it. Quickly, Sam and Sapnap fled the scene while Bad stared in shock at his beloved egg. This was too far. <coughs> Later that day, Bad brought Puffy to the egg to show her what had happened. Since the explosion, the egg had healed, but it remained very angry at what Sapnap had done. And so, Bad and Puffy knew they had to do something to protect uh -oh, it. I think they just and together, it. the two encased the egg, egg in an obsidian shell with angry. the hopes of it being safe forever. Safe forever? Before we dive even deeper into the story of the egg, I'd like to take a moment to thank the sponsor no, for today's video, sponsor, Core. Sorry. To say Core is a game is a massive understatement. Oh. Core is an ever expanding next to the unending chaos around the right. description to download Core today. And now, back to the story. Skeppy and Bad were best friends. Since Skeppy joined, Look, the two had Skeppy always here. stayed by each other's side. Through wars, conflicts, and explosions, wars. their friendship stood unbroken oh, next to the unending yeah, chaos around them. But something changed the day Bad found that egg. Skeppy found himself alone in the mansion built for two. And in the few times Bad did come by to see Skeppy, he only talked about the egg. How he was angry at Skeppy's wishes to break the vines at their house and how great of a friend it was. Skeppy felt Bad beginning to slip away. All the adventures they had, all the memories they made slipping from Bad's mind in favor of his new best friend. Skeppy hated the egg. All he wanted was for Bad to be there, but in its presence it seemed even that was too much to ask. And so, when he noticed Bad destroying the very vines that drove their friendship apart, the he began to have hope once again. Bad, Puffy, and Ant realized that since they covered the egg with obsidian, the vines ceased to grow and their obsession with the egg had began to fade away. And as this obsession faded, the three realized they didn't actually like the ugly vines and decided to destroy them. Skeppy suggested that they break the egg as well, but something inside the three still immediately opposed the idea. Instead, they all decided to visit the egg to try to understand what was happening. Yeah. Skeppy had never actually he seen the egg, Jeremy so when he entered the room to a giant obsidian oval, he was a bit underwhelmed. Curious to see what this amazing egg was, Skeppy broke a single piece of obsidian to get a peek. Immediately, his friends froze where they stood, Silent. Looking at Skeppy, Bad told him that he needed to leave, as just him being there was a risk to the egg's safety. Skeppy what was shot. Just moments safety? ago, his friends were back. It's only 6.52 in the morning. All progress had been Ready, lost. I'm Bad, Ant, and Puffy had forgotten why they covered the egg in obsidian and destroyed the shell, keeping it in. Skeppy knew what he had to do. Hiding in a pocket mm -hmm. in the vines, Skeppy convinced his friends that he was learning to love the egg. Excited about his efforts, the three decided it would be good for him to stay oh, there no. for a while and left him alone. A few minutes later, Bad felt something off. Immediately, he led Puffy and Ant back to the egg to make sure nothing had happened to it. As they entered the room, the egg was once again covered in obsidian. And Skeppy was nowhere to be seen. Quickly, Bad realized that not only had Skeppy covered the egg once again, but trapped himself inside alone with the very monster that consumed the rest of their minds. Uh -oh. He knew they had to find a way to save Skeppy, but they also knew that destroying even a single block of obsidian would expose them all again. Bad reason that the egg was poisoning their minds, and before they destroyed any obsidian, they needed to figure out what it was. As they removed vines around the server, Bad theorized that the people who liked the egg the most were those who spent the most mm -hmm. time in the room with True. it. They all worried for Skeppy even more, as every uh -oh, second he spent down there was another part of him lost to the egg. 
Oh, yeah. Sunset and night right. fell. Skeppy sat alone, trapped with the very evil he seek to destroy. The next morning, Bad logged on and rushed down to the egg. He planned to break just enough blocks for Skeppy to get out, immediately placing them back before being exposed again. And as he made his way to the room, he noticed that a few of the obsidian blocks surrounding the egg looked to be corroded. But there was no time to worry about that. He had to save Skeppy. And so, he got into position. Here we go, Skeppy. Are you ready? I'm going, Skeppy. I'm going. Oh! Hurry, Skeppy. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Okay. Okay, good. Oh, my goodness. Good. Wait, what? Skeppy, what? What happened, what happened to you? you? Skeppy. Hello. Skeppy, are, like, are you hello. feeling okay? I feel amazing. Fine. Skeppy, you're red. I feel great. Are you sure? It's creepy. Hey, do you need some food? No. I mean, I'm I'm glad you feel good, Skeppy, but why are you red? I spent my time with the egg. Oh, that's you were even blue blue yesterday, here. Skeppy. Don't you remember? I remember everything. Uh oh, Skeppy. Wait, 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 wait. Where are you going? I want to go in the egg. No, no, no. You, do you want to go no, in no, the no. egg? You don't need to go over here. Here, let, let's follow me, Skeppy. I'll take you somewhere else. Up to the surface, the sky. You oh, like yeah, the sky, I know Skeppy right? likes the sky. The sky? Yeah, the sky. You know, the sky. Come on. Maybe if we get you some fresh air, that'll help. Skeppy had changed. Bad's best friend, the Skeppy who stood by his side all that time, was gone. And in his place stood a shell of a person. Skeppy no longer cared about anyone or anything except the egg. He tried everything to go back inside. No matter what Bad said or did, Skeppy uh, didn't care. Uh oh, Skeppy he moved is out in of Skeppy. The, mansion, the very place <gasps> no, that stood Skeppy. as a symbol of their friendship. Bad mourned the loss of his friend. He tried everything to turn him back to how he was before, but nothing seemed <sighs> to work. Puffy suggested taking one of his lives, but Bad yeah, refused. He could never hurt Skeppy. He would rather do anything. And not knowing what to do, he turned his efforts to the egg, the source of all their problems. Following the egg's display of its true power, everyone agreed to keep the egg quarantined to prevent any future incidents while they studied it. First, all discovered blood vines across the server yeah, were clear, except for one on Punza's tower. Why would you this way, they could make sure oh. the obsidian still prevented the growth of the vines. Second, they needed to buy time as the layer of obsidian surrounding the egg began to dissolve. Which means to fix this it's problem, Bad and Ant surrounded the egg with a second layer of obsidian to break. make sure there would not be any breaches. They also created a decontamination chamber at the entrance of the room as another precautionary measure. Finally, because of the egg's strange effect on Skeppy, Bad and Ant decided to run an experiment by trapping different colored wool with the egg to see what would happen. As the days passed, the studying continued. The vine on Punza's tower ceased to grow, meaning the obsidian was still working. The second layer of obsidian also began to dissolve, and the wool experiment had some strange results. As the final test, Bad and Punz decided yeah, to tear down the Skeppy obsidian shell while wearing protective I mean, gear to keep themselves safe from the eggs oh, that's a good explanation. Once the obsidian was gone, they noticed that the egg had grown much larger, having absorbed the first layer of obsidian completely. This was concerning, but they figured the decontamination chamber would keep the egg out while also preventing the vines from growing. A few days later, Bad and Puffy returned to see that the vines had completely taken over the room. Uh -oh. Vines reached down from the ceiling and flowers bloomed from the reddened ground. They started to like the look of the room, but then realizing they were being influenced immediately left. Skeppy had gotten worse. His red color became more intense and his love for the egg radiated with every word. So I'm just going to check on what subscribers we have and if we have enough subscribers. Okay, so I haven't gained any subscribers yet, so still, oh, this is a six subscriber special. There was no turning him back. Ant explained that the only way to save Skeppy was to take one of his lives to break his connection with the egg. But Bad once again refused to let anything 
happened to him. He stated he would rather sacrifice everyone on the server than kill Skeppy. Ant questioned if Bad was infected as well due to his irrational thoughts, but Bad showed that no irrational. physical signs of an infection. Days okay. passed and not much progress was being made. The egg continued to push back on being contained. Skeppy remained infected and they still had no idea what the egg even was. And so, Ant, Bad, and Puffy agreed to hold a meeting on January 14th to discuss what to do about the egg. January 14th. The dust settled on a ruined Lamanberg. It had been barely a week since TNT rained from the skies above, mm -hmm. and today, the fate of the egg would be decided. The four logged on, and one uh, by one, they arrived at the okay, table. Okay, so what's for the their meeting, meeting gonna be about? Why I think we all know why we're here, don't we? As I'm sure you guys are aware of, the egg is becoming a problem. Yeah, it is. So I have is. a proposal for you two. Why don't you join the Badlands? Why do you... What, what does it offer us? Everything. The Badlands currently is made up of myself, Amp Frost, Skeppy, Amp Frost. and Awesome Dude. The reason why we created the Badlands you mean, faction uh, was to you mean protect awesome ourselves dude. from the chaos that was plaguing the Dream SMP. Look at where that's gotten us today, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to work with just us four. I think we need stronger people, but I don't think we should stop there. I think stop I have a long-term play. I Are think you going to try to take control of people's minds like the egg control of your mind? All of this side of the Dream SMP. Let it spread. Let it wreak havoc across it. While well, we discover a counter to it, right? You guys can will become evil. secure hold on our territory. Then come in, and once we've figured out a solution, clear the egg, clear the vines, get rid of it, and we can take over the entire Dream SMP. We can go from being just one territory to becoming an entire empire. I think you turned into a tyrant, Ben. Yeah! I don't want to take over the whole server. I want all of us to take over the whole server. That's if even more this, evil. Puffy, if we do this just right, we can come together, form a, a unified government, government where all of us have equal say. A round table, as it will, where we all have equal say over how we Bad go boy, about Halo is None so of this evil. president's nonsense. You know what? I don't know if this is the egg talking or myself, but I'm craving some chaos. This idea you have. It's Are you going evil. crazy, Bad Boy Halo? Really That's evil. way too evil. You but took it too far. I kind of want to do it. I think I, I want to help you guys out. Puffy? I'll help you with the egg because I feel as if there's no other way. But God, I don't want to choose a faction as I feel like factions have got us to this point. This is what I'm thinking. We combine your territory, territory? with the Badlands territory. Why Puffy, think... Temple Alliance with your territory. Sure. And we can create the formation <laughs> of our empire. What empire? will we call our empire? Egg. I think our unifying principle egg, right now is the egg. egg. Pyre. Egg pyre! I like egg this! Pyre. Then I hereby declare That's really the funny. formation the egg of the temporary but hopefully permanent egg pyre. Are you guys ready to go release the egg? The group made their way to the egg. No longer would they contain the chaos. The server would once again feel the wrath of the egg, and in the wake of its destruction, the egg pyre would rule everything. The decontamination chamber was destroyed, setting free the vines that engulfed the rest of the room. Bad Ant and Pun smiled as the plan began to move forward. They imagined the chaos that would unfold and were eager for the spreading uh -oh. to begin. Throughout the rest of the day, the members of the Egg Pyre planted seeds all across the server to help encourage even more growth. Slowly, they all began Ooh, to leave the server the for the night, SMP. but Bad remained. His plan had been received much better than he initially thought, and his disguise had worked even better. As Dad made his way back to the round table, he realized there was no point in hiding it anymore. That's you and your evils? Bad boy Halo? Propaganda coated the walls of every building. Vines spread like weeds as far as the eye could see. The chaos was beginning. Uh -oh. And with the spreading of their message, the Eggpire seek to recruit more allies to help them remain in control. 
First, Bat and Ant discuss getting Eret on their side because of the power and influence he held as king. Next, they needed to convince Sam to join the Egg Pyre in their quest for chaos. Oh no, but they're this very, was much this easier said than done. Scary. Since day one, Sam had a bitter hatred for the Egg and would not take it well when he found out his equals in the Badlands went behind his back. And as they expected, Sam was furious at what they intended to do, refusing to join their cause. He had just locked Dream away in prison to stop chaos and was not about to join some cult to spread more. But Bad and Ant had a plan to make him like the Egg. A few days later, Bad and Ant attempted to expose Andrew, Tommy to Andrew, the Egg with the hopes of getting red. him on their side. Tommy, seeking to investigate the Egg as a pot look, look. potential threat to the- Right here! And Frost is turning evil, just like Bad Boy Halo. Building of his hotel, asked Ant and Bad to lead the way. And as they approached the core, Tommy felt something strange. Tommy felt an uncontrollable urge to swear. Literally, that's it. Uh -huh. The egg is saying that all three of us should start swearing. The egg just told me to start swearing and that you need to swear next. Tommy didn't seem to be affected by the egg, and in the eyes of the egg pyre, that made him the most dangerous person to their cause. <laughs> Bad and Ant quickly decided that they needed to get rid of Tommy as he was unable to be controlled by the egg. Unable Later to be that day, controlled? the egg pyre gathered for another meeting, this time to convince Sam permanently. Already have you guys seen what's happened, okay? Dream is in jail. The server is devolving into chaos. Factions forming everywhere you look. This is a problem. We need a uniting you are a force. Problem, bad we need boy, something Amy. that everybody we can, can agree is, is a bad thing to bring everybody together. People will think the egg is bad. But the egg is ultimately good. We all know that. No, it is Anyone not. Anyone who spent enough time with it comes to realize no, the egg is good. The egg is so bad. It's not. It's right, a now, bad here's the, egg. The ultimate okay? One by one, we bring people to the egg. Get them to come to our side. Get them to see things our way. Let the egg spread its influence. Let the vines cover the SMP. When the vines have officially and effectively covered everything. That is when we come out. That is when we resolve the problem. We come in, boom, you're heroes. And that's the point. It's just we're all going to do it under the guidance and wisdom of the A. You understand? No, I don't understand. No, I don't understand. <sighs> Sam, I'm trying to... To get through, I, I, I loathe really the egg. The egg is awful. I don't care I, what you say. I know. This I is yeah, not a good awful. thing. The egg pyre is not a good thing. This was a bad idea from the beginning. It's still a bad idea now. Okay, so let me let me make this clear. You're no, in no don't awesome, circumstances dude. willing to back down on this issue. No, no, we should we should not be I doing bet this. There's we should a be piston doing down the there. opposite of this, actually. All right. All right. All right. That's fine. All right. That's All right fine. What? <sighs> okay. Goodbye, buddy. What? No, no, no. Bad. Oh, bad. bad. Kill Puffy. Oh, oh my God. What? Puffy ran, shocked at what she had just witnessed and scared for her friend that now stood deep underground in the heart of the egg. Sam was trapped. Layers of obsidian stood between him and freedom. With every breath he took, the egg seeped deeper and deeper into his mind. It was enough to break even the strongest of wills. Sam stood at the mercy of the egg for the rest of the night, alone with its raw and ruthless power. The next morning, Puffy noticed Tommy on her way to break Sam out and informed him of what had happened. Quickly, the two made their way to the egg and Puffy broke a hole in the obsidian for Sam to escape through. Sam was destroyed. He was disoriented and traumatized from the torture the egg had caused him. He was starved, exhausted, and just wanted to go home. Tommy and Puffy, uh -oh, just wanting their friend to be okay, it took him home so he could rest and recover from what happened that night. When Puffy got back, she thought about everything. She couldn't believe her friends would do such a thing. Bad and Ant had changed beyond recognition, Ant's mm -hmm. eyes now as red as the egg itself. She knew that if someone didn't stand up to the egg pyre, they would overrun the entire server. And the friends she once knew would be gone forever. 
quickly, a plan began to form in her head, a resistance to the unrelenting tyranny of the Eggpire. Because she used to be one of Please them, she knew their true intentions and the ins and outs of their plan, making trapped her too. the perfect leader of the resistance. Save us, she just save needed more people. Knowing of the Eggpire's plan, Puffy also knew exactly who Bad and Ant planned to recruit next. And so, when she caught wind that Bad was bringing Technoblade to the Egg, she knew this was the perfect opportunity to get him on her side. Puffy watched from the shadows as Bad and Techno made their way towards the Egg. She waited patiently, carefully following their every word until Bad began to take things too far and she had to step in. Puffy explained Bad's true intentions, the Eggpire, their plans of unopposed control, everything. And Techno, knowing he could never side mm -hmm. with an Empire, sought yeah. to tear it down alongside the Resistance. Mm -hmm. Rambu also decided to join after almost getting trapped with the Egg at the hands of Bad. This uh -uh. was a good start, but Puffy knew it would take yeah, you more need than more three people. people to take down the Eggpire. But lucky for them, she had a few people in mind. Having recovered from his stay with the Egg, and fearing its effect on the security of the prison, Sam was not exactly a fan mm -hmm. of the Eggpire. And so, yeah, when Puffy informed like him of what she was planning, he was more than happy to join the cause. Being In a land far away, rolling hills of sand painted the landscape as the sun beaded down on the dry ground. A player stared. For months, mm -hmm. his land lied untouched in oasis in the heart of the sea of sand. But that day, red vines spread like a disease across his creation. Foolish was confused. He'd never seen anything like it. He removed the vines, but a few days later, they returned. He began to hear stories of an egg buried deep underneath the rest of the server. Stories of a mysterious power that controlled some and drove others to yeah. hatred. But whatever it was, he I knew it needed it to be stopped. Yeah, and so, it could be stopped. when opportunity Seriously, knocked at his I door, feel bad for he answered. April 12th. A large explosion is heard across the oh server. Quackity flees the egg room as fast as he can. He prayed that his plan had worked. He prayed that the TNT was enough. He was tired of this egg, its influence spreading like a weed across the server and no one there to stop it. Thanks, he knew that if no one else was going to do something, he would. He didn't have time to see the damage before his escape, as he was sure Bad and Puns were right on his trail. But he managed to get away. And even though the egg withstood the blast of TNT, his efforts caught the eyes of the Resistance. Slowly but surely, the Resistance was growing. They just needed an opportunity to strike, an opportunity to take down the Eggpire for good. March 1st. Word spreads across the server that Tommy is dead. Murdered oh no, in Tommy is dead! No, Tommy, you're so evil, Dream! Tommy, despite the chaos, was a friend to all. And it seemed a part of everyone died that day too. Everyone except the Eggpire. Tommy's death was exactly what they needed. Tommy was immune to the influence of the egg, meaning he could not be controlled, making him the biggest threat to their plan. But now that he was finally gone, their plan could move into its final stages. First, Bad and Ant managed to trap a new player, Hannah, in the obsidian no, cage above the egg. Hannah! They hoped oh, that in her on, time with the egg, people. she would learn to love it. And once she did, Sam they knew here. exactly how she could help. Following the massive explosion set off by Quackity, the room was in shambles, but the egg still stood. Bad and Puns made sure everything was okay, and blocked off the room to prevent any threats from entering while the egg was healing. This also allowed for concealment while they planned their final move. An event months in the making, the true beginning of the reign of the Eggpire, the Red Banquet. In order for their true plan to work, they needed a lot of people as close to the egg as possible. And because their reputation among the rest of the server was not that great, they knew that before they hosted an event as elaborate as the banquet, they needed to convince people this wasn't just another scheme. And so, it was decided. The Red Banquet would be staged as an apology. An apology for the harm the egg pirate had caused and a vow of their goodwill to the rest of the server. But to truly sell the idea, drastic action needed to be taken, and Bad had the perfect plan. 
Over the next few days, the egg pie removed every single vine. Well, you guys are still evil. They're still not going to trust you. Every trace of their mission to spread the egg gone overnight. Invitations made their way to the farthest corners of the SMP. People finally started to believe they had changed. And the removal of the vines made people just comfortable enough to attend the banquet. And as Bad made his way down the now completely cleared path and into the banquet hall, he went through the plan one last time in his head. But then he noticed something out of the corner of his eye. Skeppy! His old friend, driven away those months ago by the very thing he worshipped. The only thing Bad still cared about more than the egg, Skeppy. But he wasn't Skeppy anymore. What? what? What is that? Skeppy, what are you doing? Skeppy, why, why are you Skeppy, over here? I want to be next to the egg. Wanna be you next can excuse yourself. I've given you enough time. What do you want? I care about you, Skeppy. And I mean, look, we, we both know there's nothing wrong with the egg and the egg's great and all. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to, you don't have to be buddied up with it. Then leave me alone. Oh my goodness. Let's go for a walk. Do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to see the, the sunlight? You like sunlight? Nothing here is new to me. I've seen all of this uh -oh, a million Skeppy. times over. Nothing you say will convince me. Is there anything else I can do for you? He's, hey, Skeppy, look, it's the statue I built of you, remember? What's it going to take for you to stop talking to me? I'll just go and do the preparations myself. Okay, don't come back. You're really getting what? on my nerves, Skeppy. What? Why do you keep coming back? Skeppy, back. I don't like what? your behavior lately. Has my been... behavior? Skeppy, you have absolutely no control it's over not about any part power. of me, and everything you say uh -oh. is irrelevant. Oh my goodness. It's not about power. It's not about control. I'm your friend, Skeppy. I mean, you can think that. What do you mean? Well, you can think whatever you want in your silly little mind, okay? Uh, no, it doesn't matter to me. No, we're we're friends, right? Sure. Just leave me alone, Skeppy. I have done so much. Uh oh, this is not you, going to go for, well. For our friendship, and now you're trying to tell me that we're not friends anymore. I'm not saying it. I'm proving it. You're proving it. I literally. Hey, I, oh, no, that was I've had point. enough. You used your and attitude, me, and you keep I've used and abused me, you, and you continue your attitude. to do so. No, but tell me I am your friend. Forth. Yeah, tell me. My best friend. My best friend hits me. Do you know the sacrifices that I have made to Sacrifice? hang out with you? Sacrifice. And you'd rather, you'd rather you think rather you've made stand. any sort of contribution? No, you, you think you've done anything? Do you seriously think that? The past doesn't matter. It's only about the future and the present. And right now, I know what I want. I want to go to the egg. So I'm going to go. No, you're not going to the egg. I, I don't want you to stand by that egg Why? all day. That's... Are you going to hit me again? I'm not going to let are you, you gonna... go to it. Are you going to hit me? I just wanted us to hit Oh, he's like near Lava. He might die. Like, I did all this for you, and I don't. I just didn't want the egg to take that away. You hear how selfish... That is, you were trying S to take away what S I enjoy and what I like selfish? for your own benefit. Uh oh, did this argument is actually so called that. Selfish, that is. You. you don't actually selfish. care about me. Stop are hitting you, me. You How many more times are you going to hit me? Take that back right now. I apologize. Uh oh, oh Skeppy is really there. close to law, but he's like one inch from, from falling down. See, look. Look, Daddy, look. Skeppy is one inch from falling in the law. <laughs> Own benefit. <laughs> it's just a stupid it's egg. It's not a stupid oh, egg. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, no. Bad stood in shock at what he did, destroyed by the tragedy he just caused. He remembered what Ant said about killing Skeppy and prayed with everything he had that maybe, just maybe, his friend could come back. April 23rd, two days before the Red Banquet. The Resistance stands atop a cloud in the sky built by Foolish to discuss their plan of action. Sam informs the group that he managed to recruit Hannah after finding her passed out in the Obsidian Chamber above the Egg. The group was happy to welcome another member to their side and moved forward with their plan. The Egg Pyre had been very selective about who they sent invites to, making sure to leave out major threats such as Quackity, who nearly killed the Egg, 
Technoblade, who clearly <laughs> had no intentions of yeah. siding with them and was very powerful, and Rambu, who was caught spying on the egg with Tubbo a few days earlier. However, everyone who did get an invite decided it would be best to go to the banquet to get information and to seek an opportunity to attack. That being said, everyone was very wary of the Egg Pyre's intentions as they knew there was a strong chance this banquet would end with blood. And so, they needed a backup plan. Knowing that they would not be able to sneak armor and weapons into the celebration as they were strictly prohibited, Sam suggested planting a supply chest in the center of the room in case things went downhill. The group agreed and Puffy volunteered to hide the chest as she knew the room the best. Sam also informed the group that he had another plan he had been preparing. What is a it? plan that could destroy the egg for good. Finally, Quackity mentioned a secret contact he'd been talking to. A warrior, long dormant on the server who was happy to join the fight if things got out of control. And with this, the group went their separate ways. Satisfied with their plans and confident that worst comes to worst, they would be ready for war. The sun cast a red shadow over the SMP as it climbed above the horizon. Deep underground, in the heart of a once innocent land, hung decorations fit for the greatest of kings. Red vines reached for the ground. Chandeliers brought light to the living walls and at the center of it all, kinda by like the table the, oh no, I'm being set for the somebody slop I... The egg pyre stood Ow. in the ruins of their meeting room far above the egg, in silence. No words needed to be said. The plan had been trapped in their heads for weeks on end and everyone knew what needed to be done. Joining them was Ponk, who had always liked the egg, but after a bit of convincing took a greater liking to their plan. But one seat wide empty, as their newest member was attending to her own part of the plan. The clock continued to tick until it was time. And as the first guests began to log on, everyone made their way to the banquet hall. I really appreciate you all coming again. Uh, I think this is the perfect opportunity for us as as a server, as a community to come together and and honestly just to let bygones be bygones, to let any past issues, to set them aside so that we can we can grow and advance from this point okay. forward because while there have been bumps along the way, in the spirit, uh, Bill, a bit suspicious of them, because um, I don't know what the Moving things is. forward, I would just like to say that I was very, very happy that we were able to gather everybody here together <gasps> Lava! for what is, I'm sure, going to be a banquet that Lava. none of us Lava. Lava. ever going to forget and yeah thank you for coming everybody <laughs> oh <laughs> and uh, uh thank you prepare to yeah. die do you just say prepare to die blocking all escapes he said in the prepare room. to Everyone die except the egg months of planning led to this moment the final sacrifice puffy and the rest of the resistance were furious they trusted their friends one last time what and they still the betrayed them they hoped it would come to this, but the egg pyre so had to go. Puffy made her way to the center of the table, to the hidden chest of supplies. Finally, the egg pyre would answer for their crimes. But then... What? Yes. What? Oh. 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 What? Were you looking Ooh. for this, perchance? There's no oh. way. Uh. No way. What? what? How? Puffy? <laughs> <laughs> I had to tell them. What? You told them, Hannah? 
What? Why? You told them why. The egg. Hannah heard everything. Every step of their plan, every precaution they planned to take, everything. Ever since her stay with the egg, she was consumed by its transcendent power. And Bad knew that as a new player to the server, she would be the perfect spy. The resistance was powerless. In the face of fear, they had unknowingly supplied the Eggpire with the very weapons that would cause their demise. But Sam still had one last plan. That is tragic that you told them about our plans for the armor, but something you should know. I had another plan because I didn't trust you. What do you mean, another plan? Well, I think that we all can agree this has gone on long enough now. I'm tired of all this fighting, so I say we just blow the egg up Wh for good this time Wh with an amount of TNT that it cannot survive. But so you I don't have trap. any... Wait! No! 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 The suit! What? What? <laughs> what? what the? You really what thought this? you what? could defeat the egg with TNT? After it's Quackity what? tried that, we took proper preparations, and we made it so that we wouldn't have to worry about TNT anymore. Now, uh, if you would all kindly please make your way over here, we can uh, begin the summary executions. Execution? The, the what? The what? Execution? No, 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 no. Come on. What? You see, what? the egg needs something, and it's going to get it from each of you. See, in order for the egg to hatch, it needs energy, and it gets that energy by people dying. You are a dying monster. Near it. You and are that's the role that you guys are gonna fill. Monster. We're gonna kill you it's one run. by one. Oh, what? What did you say, Aaron? You're an absolute monster. That's what I said. A monster. You know what? I think, Eric, you would be a perfect person to sacrifice first. <laughs> excellent, excellent. I'm, I really appreciate you guys following the directive and not bringing any weapons. That's very courteous of you. We trusted you, baby! We trusted yeah, you! Yeah, we trusted you! Well, that was your first mistake. <laughs> what do you- what, you think we were really going to just stop trying to spread the egg's influence over the server just because a couple people got mad at the vines? Like, come on. That's been the objective all along, is to hatch the egg. The egg wants power and it's gonna get it. All right, stop. I have had enough. I am sick of this foul red stench. I am tired of this endless cycle of egg nonsense. I tried, we tried to give this dreadful egg another chance. Yeah, I think Bad, we have- Why don't we start with Foolish instead? We'll save uh, the monarchy for later. Don't think we've forgotten about you, Aaron. Well, we can start with Foolish. You two, bad, and this is your last chance with me. Your oh, very, you very like last chance. I am done after this. What are you going to do? You're weak. You have nothing. Buffy, you were a part of the Egg Pyre. You could have prevented And this. look what you all turned into. I did what I needed to, to make sure that everyone else was protected. Because all you and bad care about is the egg and yourself. You're selfish. Yeah. Buffy. You could have stopped this if you had stayed with the Egg Pyre, but this is your fault. No! What? No, 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 no! 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 <laughs> no! One down, and a couple more people to go. Who should we do next? What do you think? Bad, Ooh, stop! Like what? Stop what, what you're doing right now! Stop! Stop it! Hey, 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 hey! Relax, relax, Quack bad. Quackity! I am. I know calm. what you're doing here, but stop right now! Stop right now! Look at what you've done here, bad. This is this is impressive. I'm not gonna lie. This is quite impressive. Everything you've done here. You have to stop right now, bad. You have to stop. Stop. This whole egg thing is just <laughs> getting out of control. You just yeah. killed a man. Is that what you wanted to do, bad? Is that <laughs> was that your plan all along? Yeah, was it that gone completely out of control. Now I'm not gonna have it anymore, bad. Look, look what you've done. Just look what you've done. You've trapped all these people, all these innocent people, in what you've disguised as a party. I'm telling you, bad. You are a pawn to. You're a monster. You're nobody, bad. You're working for something that, quite frankly, doesn't even care about you. Yeah. I mean, look at the egg. Look at the egg. Look at what it means. It doesn't mean anything. How about we just stop playing games, bad? How about that? 
I can't stop Quackity, and you know why I can't stop. You're not like this. Yes, I am. So how about, I'm going to tell you one more time. You and all your buddies here, drop your weapons and leave and let all these people go. No, you let drop go. your weapons and you prepare. If you wanted to stop us, you should have brought an army with you. Guess what, bad? I did. In fact, did? I brought the next best thing. I brought my biggest enemy. All right, Quack, and yours this egg thing. <laughs> right here, right here, Techno. Get back, get back, Hannah. Come on, let's go. Get back. Welcome him, bad. Welcome him, what? bad. Pur purple, purple. Yeah, yeah, purple. Yes, purple, purple, bad. Techno, you and Quackity are are enemies. Why would you side listen, with him? Listen, bad. I, I didn't want to work with this guy either, but this egg. This egg, it's going too far. It's warping people's minds. It's controlling them. It has no plans on stopping. And this egg, it's the epitome of everything I stand against as an anarchist. And if I don't stop it now, it'll be the end of the world. So yeah, I'm working with Quackity. We still outnumber you. It's four against three. Puffy saw an opportunity, a moment of weakness, the very thing she'd waited for since the start of the resistance. And having had enough of the friends she thought she had, she took it. You're dead! Wait, what? 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 Puffy, stop! Where did Puffy get away? You, you take it like kindness stop. and weakness, Ampharos! Oh my oh, god! Oh, go. oh, let's let's go. take them! Kill them! Attack! Let's go! Yes. Let's go! Yes. It's not go. gonna end here, Quackity! You, Bat, I've always told you, I've told you for so long, this stupid egg thing is just bringing trouble. Nothing but trouble, Bat. Let's go! Oh, retreat, let's go! Guys, retreat! Retreat! As the egg pyre retreated into the labyrinth of tunnels surrounding the room, the people stood frozen, because... shocked at the events they had just witnessed, the murder of their friend. Quackity stood atop the egg. No matter what happened, the egg pyre was reduced to nothing, and their crown jewel now lied in the hands of the resistance. Quackity led the people to the surface, freeing them from the evil grasp of the egg. Over the next month, the server would attempt to recover from that day. Sam and Quackity sealed off the egg, quarantining it once again. Bat and Ant felt a weight lifting from their shoulders as their color returned to normal and their love for the egg diminished. The resistance went their separate ways, vowing to return the day the egg was released again. And the egg remained locked away. A mere memory of a time, a dark time the server never wished to see again. And with peace finally ruling over the land, the egg, it seemed, would have to hatch another day. The end for now. So that was the egg. If you want more videos like this, please like, subscribe, and watch the video. Bye.